Hello everyone, Helkweth here, and today I'm going to show you all how to start your own IceCast broadcast server. Please note, we're not going to show you how to broadcast to that server today, just the initial setup. We'll cover that in another video as there are so many options that we could talk about. So, uh, the real burning question for all of you is, uh, why would we want to do this? Well, for those that don't know what I do, we run a nice little radio server titled Final Fantasy Radio. We have excellent listenership and appreciate those of you that take the time to roll on over and listen to us. If you don't, check us out. I'll put the link right uh, right here, I would say, right in front of your face. But uh, for the real reason, uh, I, I didn't make this server. So, um, you know, I, I actually made this the current one, but I didn't start Final Fantasy Radio. I had to learn how to make one. Uh, how to make a, an IceCast broadcast server, and then how to broadcast to it. So, because of this, I want to put this information out there. I think that it could be useful to anybody who's looking to start their own radio server. I know that I would have found that really helpful when I was trying to get going. So, there you go. Uh, this isn't about me, it's about you and getting your radio broadcast server up and running. So, let's begin. So moving on, uh, what we need with any server is an actual server. However, if you're lacking one, you can always get a virtual private server. Uh, you can purchase these from a number of websites, uh, pay monthly for them. Uh, my brand of choice is uh, DigitalOcean. They offer great prices and options. So I'm going to show you just how to make the virtual private server from DigitalOcean and then connect to that virtual private server using putty you are going to need to download putty and i'm going to put that link into the description uh down below the video along with the link to DigitalOcean. it's just digitalocean.com but what the heck um so let's uh let's begin with the with with getting in there so i'm already signed up with DigitalOcean. i'm looking at uh create a droplet so there are a number of options i'm going to stick with the uh, ubuntu option version 16.04 uh, 64-bit. I could select a number of different prices. Um, I'm going to select the $10 a month one. Uh, I'm not going to have this running for too long. Then I could select my data center region. I'm going to just leave it in New York. I, you know, I'm out of Massachusetts. It doesn't matter. And then I need to choose a host name. It doesn't really matter what you call this. I'm going to call this new radio uh, server. And I'm going to click create. And it's going to create this droplet or virtual private server for me. And from there, we have to wait a few few moments. And it just has to load. Uh, and what you're going to get is after you set this up, you're going to get an email from DigitalOcean. You won't get an email if you set this up on your own server. Uh, what you want to do is get the IP address, and you want to open up PuTTY. So we're going to open up PuTTY. And we're going to put the IP address in there. We're going to use SSH and port 22. We're going to click open. So once we click open, it's going to give us a nice little, uh, nice little box to type into. Give it a moment. Okay, we have to log in. We're going to log in as the root. And you should have received a password from DigitalOcean. Now you could copy that. And uh, unlike what I just did right there, you can right-click and paste it in there. Now you have to change the password, so you're going to right-click again. Just right-click, not right-click and select. And I'm going to enter a new Unix password. Um, that's for me to know. I'm going to enter it again. And so now I have to enter the command to get IceCast installed on here. So, to install IceCast on here, I'm going to type in Be ready for it. <laughs> so I'm going to type in, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to be, I have it written down here, I apologize. It is sudo, S-U-D-O, space, A-P-T dash G-E-T, install, icecast2 and it's going to ask if you want to continue you're going to want to say yes you're going to just configure it very quickly um, these are simply passwords that we're going to enter here um, 
we do want to configure Icecast 2. We don't have a certain host name for this, so we're going to leave it as localhost. That's fine. Uh, the source password, I don't care. I'm going to leave it as HackMe, just as default. Um, the relay password is fine, HackMe. And the administrator password, hey, HackMe again. Good. There we go. And it is just wrapping up. Here we go. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to check if our IceCast server is actually running. So what we want to do is we want to change over to our web browser, go to our IP address, colon 8000, and there we go. We see that it's up and going. So right now we could actually log in as the administrator, uh, username admin, password hack me. You should have changed that if you wanted to. And okay, we see all of our information here. This is actually up and running, guys. So uh, you can feel free to uh, try this out. Obviously, it's not being broadcasted to, but it's up and working. So give this a try, and in our next video, we will discuss actually broadcasting to this. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like what you saw, please give us a like and a subscribe. We're going to keep on making these. We're going to keep on giving you ideas of what you can do with your radio station. Um, and check it out. So until next time, take care.